So is Ethereum on the brink of a breakout on the upside or to the downside? In today's video, I'm going to go through all the necessary targets and give my projections on where Ethereum is going to be headed for the upcoming weeks and also months. So stay tuned and certainly watch to the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. So let's jump straight into what's happening with the market. We've seen a bit of a rebound this morning, which is all in all good to see but we're not out of the woods just as of yet you know you know ethereum is up 10 percent today which is good to see same with bitcoin just up around sort of 10 percent and also likewise with some of the old coins you can see out here with uh, binance coin and also with uh, xrp solana doing really well this morning which is really good to see but eventually as, as i have said you know we're not out of the woods just as of yet the bitcoin dominance is increasing and i do think as bitcoin's price does recover um we'll be seeing bitcoin's dominance increase and ethereum's dominance will take a bit of a hit because the way that the market usually works is that uh, the capital will flow initially into Bitcoin and then flow into uh, Ethereum and then the altcoins uh, from there onwards. So expect Bitcoin dominance to increase and also with that Bitcoin's price to increase from there. And then eventually the capital flow into Ethereum and that will increase the dominance for Ethereum and also the, the price for Ethereum and then from there onwards. Uh, and that's usually the way that the market cycle usually goes. If we see something different, then we'll have to readjust our targets. But for the time being, that's where things are going to be headed. Now, we have seen that knee-jerk reaction from uh, Wall Street, also from uh, the financial markets across the world. So, you know, the NASDAQ is very uh, closely correlated with Bitcoin and, and vice versa. Bitcoin is very correlated with NASDAQ and also the FTSE 100. So, Whenever there is a recovery in the stock market, there usually is a recovery also in um, the crypto world as well. So that's something to be you know, very much aware of as well. Now, with Ethereum's price, I'm going to go into the price charts just very quickly here. As you can see, uh, it's had a massive, massive drop up. I'm currently on the daily time frame. And again, you know, this massive red candle that you've seen from $3,000 all the way down to $2,500 in just one day. So a $500 move in just one day. Now, in my opinion, I believe that the bears are very much exhausted at this point. Um, and, you know, sort of a, 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 again to the point now where you know, the bulls are starting to take back with the charge of where things are going to be going from there onwards. But again, as I said, not out of the woods just as of yet. We could be seeing another breakdown too around uh, 1600 maybe 1750 um, and that would be another major area of support if we do see a break below two thousand dollars so recovery that's good to see you know going from 2100 all the way up to 2400 so a bit of a 10 percent recovery there good to see but if we do see a break below two thousand dollars on the daily time frame and we see a close below two thousand dollars on the daily time frame then i do think the next area of support the next major major area of support will be the sort of the sixteen hundred to seventeen hundred dollar region as you've seen previously many times this is a very very key level for ethereum it's been hit many times before um and you know if we see that break then it's going to be very bad news for ethereum but again as i have said you know with the way that things are going in the market and with ethereum's price being so cheap compared to the institutions and also with bitcoin's price being so cheap compared to institutions they will see bitcoin they will see ethereum and many others as well as a bit of a steal to get back into the market so as much as we could be seeing sub 30 for bitcoin and sub 2k for ethereum i think that's going to be for a very short term before institutions start to get very interested and what i mean by institutions here guys is when we get into what elon musk has said to recently he's tweeted out i'll eat a happy meal on tv if mcdonald's accepts uh dogecoin now that's of course affected dogecoin's price but here's the major thing guys is that if elon musk is tweeting about bitcoin again he is talking with people who are in the institutional money who are getting into the institutions as much as it may be a joke that he's going to you know eat a happy meal on tv and you know uh you know mcdonald's accepting dogecoin all that sort of stuff there are institutions out there that are very eager to get on board with this cryptocurrency, with what it can provide them and how it can streamline their processes. So the institutional interest is there. And that's something to be very well aware of as well. And then also on top of that, when it comes to the markets and how it has been over the past few days, there's always a recovery afterwards. And usually it's just sort of the, the, the knee jerk reaction from Wall Street and then from there on to some form of recovery. But again, those are the sort of areas to be aware of. So, you know, sub $2,000 could be on the cards, but just for the time being, let's see this recovery. If we do see another recovery, um, I think in the next few days, we could be seeing $3,000 fairly soon. So those are the two areas there. But for the time being, if I was a betting man, I think I'm, I'm the betting, I'm always betting for crypto. So, so I do think, you know, uh, $3,000 is certainly on the cards there. Now do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with me. All comments are very much welcome. Um, if you want to get a much clearer picture of what's happening in the markets, be sure to um, join our Crypto Busy VIP coin calls. It's all linked down in the description below it's through patreon on discord so make sure that you have discord and on top of that as well we are doing a giveaway of 250 dollars of usdc to buy the dip 
Um, so to enter, you must follow us on Twitter and also like and retweet to the tweet I'm showing you right now. The winner will be announced tomorrow on the 26th of January. And the link to this tweet will be in the description below. So you can head up yourselves much for the detail and enter the giveaway, of course. I'll leave these articles links down in the description below. Again, so you can check out for yourselves much for the details. Some super interesting articles there. And that is Ethereum. It's doing super well. There is, you know, throughout the year of 2022, I do think we're going to be seeing more action for, for Ethereum and also Ethereum competitors. I think you know, Ethereum is still, um, you know, potentially to go to on the cards for, you know, 10K for this year. But again, we just have to take every day as it is. As much as we do have these price targets of $10,000 or $5,000, or whatever it may be, we have to look into the day to day. And the day to day is, you know, if we do see a break below $2,000, then the next area will be 1600, 16, oh, 1700, that sort of area. If we see a break above 2500, then the next logical area of uh, support, but also resistance, will be the $3,000 region. So that's my update there for Ethereum. Do comment down below, leave a like on this video. It's very much appreciated. And if you're new and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today. That's it for me in today's video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.